Hey guys, uh, GPix13 here. I have wanted to inform you of my latest and greatest craze since about 9.30 this morning. And uh, just started using it and I think it's just fantastic. And that's the i3 window manager. That's lowercase i number three. I, I wanna do this video briefly because uh, I wanna show you how it compares to WMII. I think it's a better alternative to WMII. And I think that's what i3 uh, would like to think as well. It was actually developed as a better alternative to WMII uh, to do things that WMI couldn't do. And in my opinion, it can do what WMII can do, but better for the average user. For, uh, for more advanced users, and I mean more advanced users, WMII might be a better alternative because it util utilizes a virtual file system. Now, if i3 does that, I'm not aware of it because you can't even tell that it it uses that file system uh, with its config. Uh, its config is extremely easy to use and I'll explain that in another tutorial but uh, for now I want to go over some basic uh, client management uh, in i3 and so let's go ahead and get started. Go over to my first workspace here which uh, I'm only recording on my left screen so <clears throat> uh, my second workspace is actually on my right screen, so uh, that is going to be a little confusing if I switch to tag two, but I won't. Uh, anyway, I'll try not to. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal, mod enter, and immediately with i3, if you tried to open up another terminal, it would open up to the right. Now, WMII would open it by default in the stacking layout, like this. Okay, we do not want that. We want the regular default layout. And that's the thing that I like about i3, is that it defaults to the tile layout. Whereas opposed to WMII, its default layout is the stacking layout, which doesn't make any sense at all. And that's actually one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, why would you name the default layout default if it's not going to be default, but you're gonna have the stacking layout be default instead? That doesn't make any sense. So if I didn't wanna open this terminal up to the right, I would do mod V, okay, and that creates a vertical container, not the horizontal container that makes it show up to the right. So mod V creates a vertical container. Now, if I wanted to do mod enter again, it would then show up below that terminal, okay? Now, if I wanted to do, it, see every time now I create a terminal, it's gonna open up below it. So if I wanted to make it open up to the right again, I would do mod H and then mod enter would obviously make it show up to the right. So let's go ahead and do mod V, make it show up below. And I want WeChat to be open on the top and uh, hmm. oh, there we go. Okay, so I want WeChat to be open all the way on the top and I wanna have my processes right here, <coughs> excuse me. But the problem with this is, is that if I was in WMII, I would have to create a whole nother column over here is what it would do. It would create a whole nother column. Well, that's not the case in I3. If I wanted to do something on terminal, but I still wanted to have WeChat span the entire top column or top row of my monitor, and I still wanted to look at my processes, I would do mod H, which would create a horizontal container out of this client, mod H, and I would do another mod enter. Now, this has already superseded WMII, in my opinion, because it has support for rows. It's pseudo support for rows, so it's not actually a row in terms of that, as far as I3 is concerned, it's a container. And that makes it so much more dynamic than WMII in my opinion. So now if I wanted to create a vertical container, I would do mod V, enter, mod H, you know, that creates another horizontal container out of that client, mod V, mod H, mod V, mod H. I mean, you could just keep going. That's similar to the, uh, the spiral layout that awesome window manager has. So we'll go ahead and get rid of these. But yes, so that right there is immediately, in my opinion, better than WMII. Now, if I wanted to <clears throat> have another column, so I was finished with uh, 
WM or WeChat, and I didn't I didn't care about it spanning the whole monitor anymore. And I wanted to just have another column at like WMI I would create. I would then choose the parent. Okay, so this parent, and then do mod H, and then mod Enter, and this creates another column. Okay, now I'm not sure if I said the, what the mod parent shortcut key was, but <coughs> excuse me. When you have a client selected or focused, if you do mod A, it selects the container of that client, okay? If you wanted, so selecting that container has different advantages. For instance, if I wanted to move all of these windows in the container and make them their own container, okay, it's a larger container, so that I could have a second column. Because see, if I tried to create another, if I tried to create another terminal right here, it would open it up to the right, and these are all in the same container. I don't want that. I want this to be a new column. So I would go to my, uh, to the, one of the client windows, because see, these are in their own container too, but all of these are in a parent container. Okay, so mod A from this container selects the whole parent. Mod H creates a horizontal container. Mod Enter creates a new column. Okay, that sounds kind of confusing when I explain it, but if you just, I mean, literally look at the user guide on the i3 website. They explain it so well. Uh, I, I couldn't explain it better than that. So, better than they do. So uh, yes, go take a look at that. But for right now, real quick to end off the video, I want to show you how much better you can easily focus clients using just the keyboard. Okay. Hold down mod and then do an arrow key. I mean that is literally as easy as, as it is. Left, right. I want to go up. I want to go left, which actually supports uh, goes to the right one. Uh, I want to go left. I want to go down. Left, right. Okay, it's so easy. And then this is my second screen. This is my first screen. It, it's awesome. Uh, and then what else was there? Oh, <coughs> one of my friends on the Linux Distro community. By the way, this community that I belong to is LinuxDistroCommunity.com, and they're a great bunch of guys. They're the ones that got me started in Linux. Uh, I joined the forum out of curiosity, and it's just been a great time. Uh, they're awesome. They're always willing to help. I would highly recommend that you go join the forum or at least check it out. If you don't want to join, don't join. But uh, if it sounds like something that you think you'd, you'd like, then please do. Uh, great bunch of guys. So they're the ones who actually got me into Arch Linux, which is what I'm running now, and my own window manager, etc., etc. So one of my friends in the LDC, Rob Graves, he... Uh, <clears throat> He wanted to know how in WMII he could resize his windows just using his keyboard. You can do that. In order to enter resize mode in I3, you would do mod R. And that immediately puts you into resize mode. Now it doesn't look, it doesn't change anything on the screen, but if you do K or J, J decreases the length of the window that was selected and the semicolon increases the length all right j decreases semicolon increases in order to get out of resize mode you would hit enter so if i wanted to resize this window which i just went to using mod and then the arrow key okay if i wanted to resize this window i would do mod r and then i believe it's k will increase the width of the container okay cuz obviously you couldn't uh, increase th this client, this client's height, and not this client's height because they're in the same container. So we will bring that back down. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, L will bring it back down. K will bring it back up. So and then enter, and then I want to resize the width of this whole container. Okay, uh, with these three in here. So I'll go up here, mod R, and then J actually decreases like I said and then semicolon increases so that is how you can resize <clears throat> windows using just the keyboard uh, there will be more in another video I'll do plenty more videos on this for those of you who are curious but um, please comment rate subscribe let me know what you think 
Uh, if I manage to get a better video out there on this, I will be sure to do so. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out.